Beauty. Look at that fish tip. Oh my god. What is going on you guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Brandon and today we are out for Big Walleye on First Ice. Um, this is my first time heading out on ice. Lots of uh, safe ice around here but always got to be um, super careful. Ice is never 100% safe so we got our ice picks, we got our floating, floating suit, uh, we got a spud bar, we're going to be checking the ice. And I'm out here with Tim from PK Lures and uh, yeah, Tim what's the, what's the game plan today? Well, the game plan is try and catch some big walleye on Las Mountain Lake. There you go. So uh, yeah, we're just gonna get our stuff together here. We're gonna head out. We're meeting another buddy out there and uh, hopefully get on some big fish. Stay tuned. Oh, fish on. Beauty little walleye. Tim's still walking. <laughs> I'm just excited to be out, man. A PK rattle spoon. This is the Wonder Bread color um, with an upsized treble hook. I like the upsized treble hook. Um, but yeah, these were really good last December, so that's what I'm gonna. That's what I'm gonna go for this season here. So first ice PK rattle spoon. Let's see if we can get on some big walleye. Tip my spoons just with the minnow head. Typically I'll kind of hook it like that, just the minnow head. Gives the fish an opportunity to actually bite the hook, not just the tail of the minnow. Let's see what we can do here. First drop of the 21-22 season. Oh, just feels good to be out here. Yep. Fish on. First fish of the 2021 season. Let's go. This feels good. Maybe I don't know. It's not re not really not really do. Oh, just popped off. It just popped off. Oh my god. <sighs> Gets the blood flowing though, you know. Just feels good. Feels good to have something hooked up there. The perch rod's on fire. Perch rod. <laughs> Fish. That's what we're after on the last mountain lake. Some nice early ice season walleye. A few marks down there, anyways. Not bad. Probably like a two and a half pounder. Not the 30 we're looking for, no. Nope. But nonetheless, like just a. They're thick, eh? Just solid fish. Tim, you missed it. I had a nine. I had a nine. You a nine? Yeah. <laughs> no kidding, eh? Well, it's like a finesse. You really got a finesse. Tw Twenty-six <laughs> inch light, or what? Hey, nice fish, man. I was gone. Nice. 
<laughs> he loses it. Oh man, that popped off right at the hole. That is a huge fish. Yeah. Yeah, well, let him go. 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 You got like two feet ice, and they come off like that. Well, you got a chest. Yeah, this. Uh, yeah, yeah, you always got that chance. You, you know, you could come out here and it could beat you up pretty good, though. <laughs> Timmer is on. What do you think, Tim? Good fish. I just caught that hook set on the edge of my eye. <laughs> Ice Good fish, burp. really. Oh. Burb. A big burb. <laughs> Look at the size of that burb. Burb is the word. Burb is the word. I knew he was That big. is a... Uh, <laughs> Look at, his Look at the oh, belly on that thing. <laughs> oh, that's oh, a good one. <laughs> Actually a nice fish. Oh yeah. Back he goes. Burb city. We'll catch him out later on. Alright, Tim. Last one was a dog. Good fish? Good fish. There we go. Nice. That's what we're after on Last Mountain Lake. Big, solid walleye. And they're biting. Awesome. Back down. We caught another day. Woo. Nice fish. Thank you. All right, Tim, what do you got going on here? Well, you know, a lot of times guys ask me what I use for bait, and uh, it's pretty standard. We uh, we take along uh, frozen minnows, they're salted or unsalted. They work really well. We usually break off the uh, the head piece or the tail, and we uh, just simply slip it on. I like to put it right to the, the top of the, the skull part of the, the minnow. It seems to stay on a lot better, and even barbless. These aren't barbless because they're on Last Mountain Lake, but I like to have it through there, and uh, seems to work really well when you're uh, you're jigging it. It doesn't get uh, fouled up. Another little trick: uh, once you've caught a few walleye, you've been out, and or from even last year, you can uh, use a fish eye, which uh, which usually the guys use walleye eyes. They work really well. But what I've uh, what I've kind of developed too over the last little while is all. I'll take uh, skin from a, uh, a fish, whether it's a walleye, tulipy, or whatever, and I punch it through the back side of that meaty part, and you punch it through the, the tough part. Now with your barb, it's not going to fall off. And then I'll pinch off a little bit of the, the meat part, and then that acts as kind of like a minnow's tail or a little bit of detractant, and that can be absolutely deadly. And that's just a walleye cheek. And that's a piece of a walleye cheek, yeah. And uh, Money. it can work really well. Cool. Give it a try. There you go. Fun little tip on uh, kind of what we're running for uh, bait here today. Yeah, and it's working. We're catching some good ones. Trusty Strike Master, 40 volt. I had one mark. It's my hole. Here we go. Damn. kind of spells it out eh guys I mean it was a dead part of the, the day and uh, the fish weren't hitting at all we moved spots relocated did a nice break and uh, next thing you know we're on walleye again we've been catching quite a few here 
no monsters yet, you know, that, that this is a good eater, but uh, you're catching that four to five pound mark. It's early ice, it's tough because you don't have that hole to get them up. Yeah. And, and then, you know, they, they're stuck once, they're, once there's a little more ice, they're kind of stuck in that hole. He's got some trouble there, so he's not a peanut. That's a sweet guy. Oh, here he comes. Beautiful fish. fish. There we go. There we go. Yeah. That's what you're looking for. These uh, big breeders, we put them back, we keep some eaters and uh, protect our resources. Saskatchewan has beautiful fishing, uh, great opportunities for everybody. That's where we slip this guy's back, and there he goes. That is two times now that I've uh, drilled myself a hole, and Uncle Tim has found his way there before myself and hooked into a fish. Well, you know, the truth is, if we're actually telling the truth, I said, which one should I use? He said, take that one, and I took it. I left him the other one. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> the the fish stories. Uh, yep, hooked up. Hooked up. Brandon's on. Uh, it doesn't seem like it's much. Hey, yeah, I think it's the beauty of being out here. It doesn't matter the size. It's just the experience of getting out here. There's yep. a nice one. That was on the pink rattle. Yep. Pink rattle spoon. I might eat that one. That's the kind of eat those. Yeah. You know, those are the ones that we want to want to consume and let the bigger ones go back to make more of them. Oh, 100%. We're going to have ourselves a little fish fry tonight. Yeah. Fish on. You hooked up, baby? Yeah, it's just, uh, I think it's going to be another eater. Another eater, I think. That fish call home about. There you go. Pop, baby. PKs catch everything. <laughs> you my finger. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, that one's a little dink. Like it goes back. fish. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. I think it's just another cookie cutter. Might be a little solid. Yeah, probably just like a 15, 16 incher. Oh, there he goes. My, <laughs> look at that. No, the hook popped out. <laughs> that was a big crack. Right here. Alright guys, so uh, a little bit of an update. It's been a few hours. I think it's like 10.30, 11 o'clock in the morning. Uh, it's been alright. I mean, for myself, I've got kind of around that 17 to 20 inch mark. Um, Tim's been, had a couple pretty decent fish. Caleb had a couple good fish, um, but we kind of ran into some some buddies on the ice here, Andrew and Chris, and uh, Andrew's son. And uh, Andrew's son's been crushing it. He had a nine pounder earlier this morning uh, before we got here. And then he's had a, I think it was a seven pounder and a five pounder. So he's been having a pretty good morning. This is all off camera. Uh, he's kind of wandering away from us a little bit. So um, just kind of a midday update on uh, what's going on. Tim's hooked up again. Another eater, let's go. Yeah. yeah, you know, if you're gonna eat fish, I keep a few in the winter time, summer, I think every fish I, I throw back. But I will keep a few for summer and uh, that's the perfect eating size, you know. I think honestly, fish in the winter just taste better. Like the, with, in, with the cold water, oh, for sure. uh, the meat is just, yeah. it's it's whiter, it's fresher, yeah. um, than you get kind of get in the summer when you get that LJ, so. Yeah. Awesome, another one for the frying pan. There we go. Caleb hooked up. Yeah. Here, Tim Jenny is hooked up with another last mile lake walleye. Yes. Is that on camera on at least? I didn't get the hook set because we were just chatting. <laughs> Here we go. Somebody grab that big monster. That hook set kind of came out of nowhere. Uncle Tim on the hot stick. We're getting a few here, boys. Like I said, these are the ones that uh, we put back so that we can catch the small ones if we're gonna keep some for supper. Uh, these are the ones that we uh, obviously wanna release. And, uh, 
Beauty. Oh, Uncle Tim, you gotta share the love. Caleb's hooked up. Jeez, you kids and your technology. <laughs> Do you want me to pull it out? Yeah. Oh yeah. Anything we got your other line, but I'm not worried about that. Beauty, beautiful. Nice. All right, the night flight is a go. Getting tired of taking my gloves off. Tim's taking the gloves off. It's, <laughs> it is business time. Take the gloves off, it's serious. <laughs> good fish, Tim. Really good fish. Oh, this early ice. Yeah, this early ice. It's, it, it's a big fish. Oh my god. <laughs> wow. Look at that. Wow. That is a beautiful Saskatchewan walleye. You know when they ask if the bite's on, the bite's on. We're gonna get him back. Beauty fish. And back she goes. Babies and fulfill somebody else's dream. Goodbye. Let's go. <laughs> Free ice. No. Ah, no. My fish aren't just my fish aren't the caliber of yours. Oh, hang on. Nice eater. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, if you're into that, eh? Just another cookie cutter, eater sized walleye. And he choked that spoon. This guy go. It's just silly. Do you, do you need me? 
It is cool, isn't it? You can see them, you can kind of see them kick. <laughs> Not bad, eh? <laughs> you want me to release them? I'd say this is a four and a half, five pounder, maybe six pounder. Like it's, it's a fat fish. Let's get a release on this beautiful walleye. Money. Clockwork, Tim, clockwork. Beauty. Boom. Just comes out just like that. Another big, beautiful last mountain lake walleye on a jigging spoon from PK Lures. Oh, these things are just absolutely stunning. Yeah. We got a little girl come to visit and say hi. <laughs> you want to come see this one? What kind of fish is that? Can you say walleye? It's a walleye. Yeah, no, just a, another cookie cutter. Call Tim. Get in the call too. Get in the call up. There he is. <laughs> another one. Another one. Thanks for the day. Yeah. yeah, we'll call her. We'll call her. Uh, call her quits on that, and yeah. caught, caught a few fish. And we got some big walleye. We came out for some big walleye. It's early ice, and uh, hey, we accomplished what we uh, set out to do. The key is safety. Obviously, you got to be careful. We worked our way very slowly, and we knew that the ice was safe through. You know, all our, all my phones ringing all the time. Guys wanting how, wondering how the fishing's going. But anyway, that's the key. So get out there, have some fun, enjoy Saskatchewan. All right, guys, obviously we are back at the house. Great day of fishing. That was my first day on the ice for the 21-22 season. And honestly, you really can't ask for much more. I just wanted to get on some fish and luckily we were able to do so. Some good eaters, some bigger fish as well. And just overall, just a great day. The wind was pretty crazy. I'm pretty wind burnt but nonetheless, uh, just a fantastic day. One of my favorite kind of traditions each year is my first time out on the ice. I like to keep fish. I don't keep fish too often. First time out, if I'm able to catch, uh, I like to keep a couple smaller fish and have a fish fry. It's just kind of one of the things that I've been doing every year. And uh, so that's exactly what we did today. Four beautiful fillets right here. And we are going to be coating them in catch and cook. Um, if you don't know what catch and cook is, it is a game batter um, released by Jay Siemens and Josh McFadden. Uh, we've been lucky enough to have them on the Weekend Warriors Fishing Podcast and uh, just two great dudes, um, very influential people in the fishing industry, outdoor industry as a whole. Go check out those episodes on the Weekend Warriors Fishing Podcast. You can find it on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, really anywhere that you get your podcasts. Um, two great episodes um, from a couple of great guys. Spicy, catch and cook. I'm a spicy guy, so uh, for me, the spicy is kind of the ticket. First, I like to take my batter. Um, I like to put it in a big Ziploc bag. Uh, I like to kind of shake my fillets around in there when they're ready for coating. Um, so yeah, just put a little bit, whatever you think you need um, in there. I like to use milk to soak my fillets. More feeling more of like a snack type food. Dip them in your milk. Throw it in the batter. So there you have it guys, some flame walleye. I like to add some Thai sauce drizzled on top. 
so good. If you're still with me, thank you so much for tuning in. I really appreciate it. If you aren't subscribed to the channel, please do so. Um, I'm just looking forward to get back out on the ice and making some more videos for you guys. Stay tuned.